Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again. I just wanted to give a bit of an update. Uh, I am outside the dollar store in Walmart. And quickly say a little bit about that. Uh, while we think we may be saving money, we may be under attack in ways that we are not aware of. I notice patterns in everything, in uh, the way my body reacts to foods. And I would often buy dollar candy <laughs> here at the dollar store. But I also would also notice that in the corner of my mouth, uh, uh, it would be sore. And so then I'd have to do all sort of things to heal that. Uh, but yes, I noticed a pattern of that. You know, the products that they sell in there typically do not sell well in other stores and they end up in dollar stores. Because of the chemicals in some of these products, uh, our spiritual ability is being hampered. Our organs can be calcified, etc. You know the story on that. Whether it's relish or, or uh, salad dressing, high fructose content, uh, and other uh, chemicals are in these products. And I believe Walmart is the main center for that you know it's where most people go to shop not even realizing that the vegetables they buy are are cloned or something they don't even have a seed so we're eating plastic without even realizing it so here again in order to be healthy we have to go out of our way or perhaps even spend a little bit more money just to keep this body performing the way it should and the way it needs to during this time. Now on today, I mentioned to you all in the last presentation that I had a dentist appointment. Well, I went down to the dentist in the reception area, which was all white people. And then before I even got to see a doctor, I got a call on my cell phone from ADT my security alarm people saying that there had been a breach on one of the windows. So of course I had to cancel the appointment immediately and I rushed home. Uh, the 911 lady called and said, well, how will he know it's you? I said, well, I live on the end of the street, you know, I'm in a black car. Well, when I got there, which was shortly after receiving the call, it was a police officer that I had met before when a similar incident happened months ago. But it was different in that, you know, when you move to a new home and you set up your alarm system, you kind of get in a routine and the habit of closing down your home. Uh, and, and on this day, I happened to be on the phone with a friend coming home and I opened the garage before disarming the alarm and as a result of that uh, the police officer was there and it happened to be the same police officer who lives in my neighborhood you know very uh, handsome seemingly uh, a nice person but you know I just I live in a consciousness of distrust of everybody I don't know who he is or what he knows but anyway there he was he was coming from around my home he said that everything was fine uh, and of course I went behind him to make sure for myself it seemed odd that see he was a little surprised that I would want to go behind the work he had done but that's odd to me but anyway we went on talking and he was explaining to me about phone apps uh, one is called Arlo where if you're away from your home and there is movement inside or around your home it will notify you but anyway uh, I ended up having to reschedule my appointment for today and I went and it was right at $500 just to be consulted to have the x-rays done and then all I could really afford was one extraction though I may need even more than that and so that process um, went a little bit better because when I've got behind the reception area, I realized I had a black dentist.
He was a young man or is a young man. He had been a teacher. So conversation went well about many things. But still, you know, if you're a doctor, I'm, I'm just, you know, I don't know what you know. But he seemed to be familiar with our ancient history. He was talking a lot about Toussaint, which uh, we discussed at our study group the other day uh, and using voodoo and science to uh, win against Napoleon. And so, anyway, uh, getting that tooth out was difficult. Uh, he prescribed antibiotic, uh, hydrocortisone or something like that, and um, uh, uh, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. So, I haven't experienced any pain. My mouth is no longer deadened, uh, and I was able to eat some beans earlier. And so, I'm feeling better that I had this one little problem seems to be ending now about the rectal area you know how when you were younger and you might get ill and you can't even remember what it was like to be healthy to feel good to feel normal and all you want to do is get back to that well I've been in pain uh, so much with this root chakra issue I really have fallen in love with the idea of death you know, I, I feel like I've, I've done so much work throughout the years that, you know, learning from Bobby Hemet that we will uh, perhaps in this lifetime activate and get to make some changes around here. I have been hanging on, but I have been in pain. And so this gentleman at the study group, another reason I say, you know, if you can find a study group and you can get along with the people there, do join, you know, you never know where information might come from. You know, the lady, Queen Jamila, she said, you know, this is, this is the journey and it's not all roses. It's just not, you know, the threat of death from HIV, seeing your friends die all around you. And then feeling under attack, you know, but then learning that uh, nobody wants to return here after death. And it might be just a good option. And there are days when I want to be anywhere but awake and alive here. But anyway, the gentleman recommended the turpentine gum spirits as well as the iodine. Now, in applying this for the last three days or so, that iodine burns like you would not believe. It's almost like once you put it up there, you wish you had not. And, you know, I'm so tired of putting things up in that area. You know, from clove to all the other products, whether they be lotions or pills or whatever. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so burnt out on that. But, and, you know, every time you do one thing, you think, oh, it's getting better. You know, I don't know if that's a mental thing or if 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 whatever I'm using is actually attempting to deal with the issue. But um, on, uh, I guess, last night, you know, when I'm lying down or when I'm standing up, that bump down there has more prominence. And it's almost like leaky butt syndrome. <laughs> You know, you've heard of leaky gut, but pus forms around whatever that is down there causing a problem, whether it's a hair follicle or whether it's an entity that feels like it's lodged firmly in my ass getting its life and it is re refusing to let go. But anyway, on today, after my dental surgery, I slept most of the day. And I wake up and I do feel better. And that area does feel smaller. It's not completely healed. I will continue to press on it and squeeze out pus and do all those things that I've been doing for over a year. And just hope that this is the final straw. Less pain in my mouth now. I believe when I use that urine therapy, it caused further decay. It deadened those nerves and gave me relief. But over time, uh, he described to me, the dentist, how it was very much decayed. And so getting it out even was more difficult because he had nothing to hold on to. And so it was a lot of drilling sounds going on. And you know how it is going to the dentist. So, you know, I'm just so worn out on ill health. 
Somebody even said, you know, well, sometimes as you're healing, the body is releasing all sorts of things and it may appear like an illness. But, it, you know, I really do believe that our body is God technology and it is always working for us when we remain in that uh, state of consciousness. OK, uh, also um, do continue to study on your own. Uh, Bobby Hammett, uh, Dr. Smalls, and uh, anyone else who is vibing at the level where you are or where you would like to be. So all those things are very important. I'm going to go on now <clears throat> into Walmart and get some wax melts so it can at least smell good in my home and uh, provide a bit of aromatherapy. So we've got it all working and I hope you are too. I'm glad to be here in a better mood uh, without thinking of ending it all. But you know, you know, I sit out doing this process, not even ever really having heard myself speak, you know, and so you have, when you hear yourself, you go, do I sound like that? And I have learned so much about myself in this process, my mood swings, my anger issues, and all manner of things come to mind because I have uh, mustered the courage to uh, do what I'm doing, bringing this information to you all, uh, hoping that our collective consciousness can impact change on this planet and we can all successfully complete our mission while alive in this dimension. And so, um, <sighs> thank you for taking the time to indulge me here. Uh, I am Dr. Damien Q. Laster, the Conscious Doctor, Rainbow Warrior. Have a good night and a great rest of the week. Goodbye.